part here in this lesson is uh, measure and draw angles. So um, our common core strand is given right there. And our central question is how can we use a protractor uh, to measure and draw angles? All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, so Mike wants to um, uh, make a student desk for his son. <clears throat> And he's going to use this figure to the right. Can you see a student desk out of here where there's the legs right there? This would be like the table right here. Okay, and so how can he measure this angle, angle A, B, C, highlighted in red, uh, formed by the back right here and the seat right here? Okay, so what we're going to do is use what's called a protractor. So I have a protractor down here. A protractor is a tool right here for measuring the size of the angle. So uh, I'll show you this. I'll make it bigger and smaller and all that stuff here in just a bit. So here's a protractor. Now you can't make yours bigger and smaller. And I'm kind of a rookie at using this on this program here. So we'll let me see if I can make it bigger for us here. Okay, so so um, so we can see the numbers a little bit better. I'm going to shrink it back up. Okay, so we have this protractor here, and we got two sets of numbers. We got a bottom row of numbers, and we got a top row of numbers. We we it just depends on which ones we start on. See on this side. The bottom row starts at zero, so we always want to start at zero. If we're going to use this side over here, then we'd use the top row because the top row starts at zero. Okay, it goes zero, then 10, then 20, then 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then you can't see that right there. Let's see if I can bring that down. So then it goes 100, 110, 120, 130. So I'll show us how to do this. And then on the bottom, it goes 0, 10, 20, 30, and then 40, 50, 60. Here's 90 again right there. And so there's our right angle. We talked about that in the last lesson. So that's a 90 degree angle. All right, so let me shrink this up right here. So, so we won't be able to see the numbers very well. But So here's our protractor right there. So um, uh, what we're going to do is, um, uh, let's see, your book probably says something like this. So we're going to place the center. That should say point right there. The center of the point of the protractor on the vertex of the angle B. So I'm going to place this little center right here. You see that little center where this crosshair from the 90 comes down? Okay, and they got to place it on this uh, line right here. A big mistake students want to do is place the bottom of it. Don't place the bottom of it. We're going to place this little piece right here. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Okay, I'm talking about this little piece. We're going to, we're going to put this little piece right at angle B. Okay, let me shrink this back up if it's going to let me, hopefully. Come on now. No, oh no. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll slide it back down. Sorry, you guys. Like I said, I'm kind of a rookie at this thing here. So, okay. So, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and slide this over and, and then place that center right there. Okay. So, we're going to place that center and make sure that this line right here, this line right here, lines up with um, uh, the ray BC right there. Okay. So, that little crosshair is going to go right on that point B right there. And just make sure it lines up with the ray right there. Okay, so we've done that right there. So now we're going to line the zero. That's what we were just talking about. This zero, the bottom number, the inside number, we're going to line the zero uh, mark on the scale of the protractor with the ray BC. So here's ray BC, that red guy going right there. And the zero goes right there. Okay, so the next step is going to be find where ray BA intersects the same scale. Okay, so we're on the bottom scale. We're not doing the top numbers. We're doing the bottom numbers on here. Okay, so this is going to intersect. So we go up here and find out where it intersects. Well, it intersects, I don't know if you can see that. On mine, it says, a, 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 see, there's 110 right there. This is 130. So this is 120 right there. So it's intersecting it right there at 120 degrees. Okay, that's how you use that. So the measure of angle ABC, and that's what this says right here. This says the measure of angle uh, ABC. Okay, so it equals 120 degrees. Okay, so to answer the question, uh, the angle formed by the back and the seat is 120 degrees right there. All right, so can we line... Uh, either ray of the angle with the protractor when measuring and explain and and yes you can let me let me uh, move that over here I'll show you what we're going to do right here so we can line up either ray as long as we turn the protractor so that the ray lines up with the zero mark so let's see if I can do that here you guys let me see if I can do that I, again I'm just a rookie at that so what I'm going to do is 
is turn my protractor. There it is on zero. I'm going to turn it. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to turn it so the zero lines up right there. You see, now it's the zero. Now we're using the top scale, you guys. Okay, so I'm making sure that 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 uh, that little center piece. Let's make sure that little center piece is lined right on point B, and then make sure zero. See, it's not quite on zero. I got to rotate it a little bit more. There it is on zero right there. See how it's on zero right there? So now we're using the top numbers and then we see where this ray comes out right here. So if I go with the top numbers and I'm going on the top, so 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, here's 90 right there. There's 110, 120, I'm sorry, 100, uh, 100, 110, there's 120 right there. So it still gives us 120 degrees. You're just going to have to make sure that the the little center piece right here and then the zero lines up with the other ray right there okay so this one's saying here let me move this down so uh, you can also uh, use a protractor to draw an angle and give any angle measure so let's go ahead and draw angle PQR okay and we're gonna measure it with a uh, 83 degrees alright so the first parts easy just pick up your straight edge you guys let me pick up a straight edge here and just draw uh, ray um, we'll call this ray QR right there okay so let me put a little arrows on there so here's here's ray QR okay and then let's put a little dot right here uh, okay so there would be R and then Q would be right here okay let's even label it okay let me uh, so this is going to be uh, point Q okay and then this is going to be R so we've just created ray QR okay and then we're going to create ray P such that uh, it's going to make an 83 uh, degree angle so let me let me see if I can rotate this back okay I'm going to rotate it back so it's nice and even so I can line it up okay right there all right, now I'm going to go slide this over. I'm going to put this little center piece right there on point Q. Okay, it's going to go right over there. All right, and then just line it up right down there and just make sure that the zero goes right on the, the ray right there. Okay, just make sure that that bottom line inside of the uh, parabola or inside of the protractor goes right there. I was just teaching parabolas to my uh, algebra students today. All right, then we're going to go up to 83 degrees, okay? And we're using the zeros on the bottom number. So I'm going to go here's 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm going to go make a little, little tick mark for 83 degrees right here. So 80, here's 80 right here. Here's 90 right there. So somehow I got to put a little tick mark there. Let me see if I can. And then I got to use my straight edge and line it up, okay? So my straight edge would probably be the end of the protractor. All right, so 83 degrees would be, looks like, right about there. Okay, so if we just make a nice little mark right there. Uh, my pen's not working right there. Oh, come on now. Okay, do you see what I'm doing? Uh, it's not going to work right there. Gosh darn it. Hmm, I don't know what's going on. Okay, maybe I'll use this right here. 83 okay just as a little mark right there okay so that looks like about 83 degrees right there and then what you got to do is move the protractor out of the way so let me move that protractor out of the way and i'm going to connect that to point q okay so that little point right there is going to be connected up to point q so here we go so i would pick this up and line it up with my straight edge but i it's hard for me to do that right here so i would use this edge right here for my straight edge and I'd put it right on that edge and then put it right up there and just take my pencil and, and go straight down right there. But this tool, I'm going to go like this. So it's going to go right up through there. So there would be my other ray uh, P. So that would give us angle PQR right there. Okay, so let's see. Let me go put my point right there. So uh, And then we'll put our, our, our letter right there. Okay. Piece of cake. So there's Ray PQR, and if we measured that, that should measure about 80, 83 degrees. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. Come on now. Anyways, you guys get the picture. I was going to go measure that, but my protractor's not helping me right now. Oh, heck. Okay. Anyway, so if I if I slid that up there, it would give us about an 83 degree angle. Uh, let me see if I can rotate it over here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So there it is, about 83 degrees right there. See how it goes right through about 83 degrees? All right, you guys, that's it. Take care.